He didn't test the grass mic. No, like, I, I heard it. He just likes to do this. He, like, he loves to piss. He likes to just go, we're on, we're on. We're on, we're on. He starts the show when yeah. we're not prepared. Whatever, we got it. <laughs> look, look at him. He's well, like, Mateo, introduce our guest, God damn it. Yeah, here's Mark Henley. Hey, what's up? What's That's up? not much of an introduction. <laughs> I'm you do it. I'd be like good, the good. big dog of comedy fight yeah, club. The big dog okay. of comedy say, fight club. The BXG. You BXG. say good friend of mine, <laughs> right. Mark Henley. We're not, big, we're not good friends. He won't even tell me what his job is. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. Before the show, uh, we were talking yeah. in the car, and uh, Matteo was like, "I also work from home." And uh, Mark was like, I work from home also, what do you do? And Mateo was like, it's a very serious <laughs> operation, can I tell you that? Look at him, he's a spy. You're he's a got all spy. in on Pink now, too. What? Yeah. He's, he's like all in on Pink now. Is yeah. That yeah, I love Pink. I yeah. think Mateo also has a lot of animosity right now, because uh, you were, you we booked you instead, yeah. but uh, I, I don't have animosity. Jerry and Lolly was supposed to be on the show. <laughs> I don't have animosity. I, I actually thought about that, like, the, this thing in a room, we can't fit everyone. And Jerry Law is a big guy. He can't fit in a computer chair. <laughs> he's not that big. Oh, he's not that big. Are you saying he's... But, I mean, he's no big dog. I don't think, yeah, I don't yeah, think Jerry, like, me and Jerry take up that much different yeah, yeah. amount of space. In the no, world. but no, no, no. I was that considering <laughs> Exhibit A in the room, which you can't see. It's like, how do you say that when we have the big dog on yeah. the show? Yeah. Jerry's no big dog, but he is he is a great guest to catch. Yeah, he's well, a good guest. We wanted him. No, he's not. No, he's he's not. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> I don't know. Mateo kept saying all week we we owe him a spot. Oh, you I owe him nothing. <laughs> you booked him and they canceled. You booked him. You See, owe it to him. Uh, he canceled, didn't he? Tell him. I don't, I don't even know. And you know. You know what? He's banned from the show. Okay, <laughs> fine. Your best friend, Jerry Law, banned not, from the no, show. Not true. I just feel we owe him a spot. <laughs> what if it's revealed that you actually work for Jerry Law? <laughs> that's what you do for a living. That's why I was so tight-lipped about it. <laughs> what can I get him on? I wanted yeah, him yeah. on with a specific person. I wanted, okay. him, on, I wanted him on with Kate Lawler. Okay. I that's wanted to do a love game. game. Yeah, that's why. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 that's yeah. why I wanted him on. Damn, that oh. would be a, a, a fucked up timeline if they get together. Oh, I mean, that's what I want. I want <laughs> yeah. that to happen. Yeah. And I wanted him to take Kate's name. Yeah. Jerry Lawler. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted. That's good. That's a good. So, that's a good one, premise. One of the last times I saw him, we were. I was. I was some. I think he came to like a fight club, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm thinking about going to see like the Suicide Squad in like a week or two. Do you want to go?" Uh, I'm like, "I don't know. I'll let you know." He's like, "All right, but we have to go see it in Queens." I'm like, "All right, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to go or not." And like, he, like he kept yeah. like being like, "Okay, but we have to do like Friday at 5. I'm like, "Okay, I'm not sure I want to go." Yeah, it's well, he's that's like that's why you and him. That's why him and Mateo get along. Cause yeah, I yeah. can see that the same <laughs> fucking thing. Mateo once yeah. invited us to go see Taxi Driver at 12 o'clock at night. Like I didn't, like it wasn't on Netflix. Yeah. But it's the experience it's of experience. going to the movie. It was not even digital. It was being broadcast in 16 millimeter from a projector film. Ooh. I told you to fucking leave that geek shit back in my <laughs> and, and Mark, you right now, you're breaking yeah. barriers because I banned the entire New Jersey comedy scene. The, all of New comedy Jersey show. comedy scene? Oh my and god. And you are now, bro you've just broken the You are the Jackie yeah. Robinson of New what Jersey. What does New Jersey comedy scene do to well, you? Well, I, I technically <laughs> consider you a New, a New York comic. Hell yeah, dude. I also, I, I do as well, actually. <laughs> I still got foot in both worlds, you know. I'm, I'm like, yeah. uh, well, like, Dog Fight Club and also the King of New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, they, they've done nothing, but I just wanted to ban them. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's a, it's a, it's a good proactive measure, you know? Right. Before all the, the Jersey weirdos just start tumbling into yeah. what a scene into this room. Well, we would, yeah. like, we would like that. We would yeah. like that. Yeah. But also, Comedy Fight Club kind of has all of them. You guys, do, but you, have a, you have a monopoly on all the New Jersey freaks. You really do. <laughs> we have I, I haven't been thinking and following. Is that true, Mark? There, there is a lot of New Jersey freaks, and there's an untapped potential amongst them. I like and how Comedy <laughs> Fight Club is exploiting them the most currently. <laughs> Mateo asks Mark about New Jersey <laughs> freaks like he's fucking Ted Koppel. <laughs> so is that true, Mark? Do you have... What do you say these allegations? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a funny scene because, uh, I mean, not intentionally funny but yeah uh, but it's a funny scene where you get these lunatics it's it's because there's no upward mobility there's no <laughs> moving up in yeah. new jersey comedy all there is is just like uh getting mad at each other yeah, and oh. uh everyone dates one person and then you break up and then you divide <laughs> over that it's so true then she switches to someone else and there's new alliances <laughs> and that's, kind of the, that's what you do you know <laughs> so but but in, in new york there's like somewhere to go so right. people actually have a thing to fight yeah. for, so they fight more intensely. Mm -hmm. Right. But, the, but, like, it's different, though. Yeah, of course. It's also, New York, it's the whole scene. It's, yeah. And there's pockets, you know. Yeah. Uh, New Jersey, just one scene. <laughs> yeah, it really is. That's why banning them all. <laughs> not playing favorites, obviously. Right. 
is uh, what we wanted to do. I mean, there was this one guy, Mateo, listen to this, there was one guy, his name was Tyler, mm -hmm. and uh, he was an absolute lunatic, and uh, they were all like, you know, when I went back to New Jersey, they were like, this guy Tyler's a problem, and I literally was like, dude, like, why? And they're like, they're just like, because he's fucking out of his mind, he comes down to mics, he stares at people, I don't know, <laughs> like, yeah. like, he's weird. You know how there's like little things that you do in, in comedy where like, like if someone's doing a set, you generally wait till the end of it before mm. you get up. He would just get up and yeah. then walk around, yeah. but like, which doesn't seem that bad. But he would like stand for like two straight minutes next to his chair, and then he would walk. Right. Like just all these weird um, uh, attention grabbing things. Very and odd person. And I'm just like, listen, I've done mics at Creek in the Cave, and like <laughs> people, I use I used Mateo as an example. People would think that Mateo was an absolute lunatic. Yeah. Yeah. Which uh, he kind of, but not <laughs> far off. <laughs> yeah. Not far off. But I was like, I've met like guys like uh, you know, like at the creek where they're they're fucking nuts, like mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. how bad could how bad could this Tyler be? Yeah, where's this guy? Where's this guy? And I met this Tyler. Yes. <laughs> and my God, he was an absolute nut. Then a couple months later, I get an article sent to me where this man. Tyler, he beat up a cop with a sledgehammer? What did he yeah, do? It's a regular hammer. He hit a cop in the head with a hammer. Yeah. He got too drunk and the cop drove him home and then he was like, I'm going to get this cop for this. Yeah. And then he just took a hammer and hit him in the head with it. How and we haven't seen him since. How dare you? <laughs> uh, arrest me. So, my point being, at least the Jersey comedy scene, you got you have a good judge of character there. Yeah, yeah and, he, like, and then afterwards people are talking and they're like, he was like sending all these guys like DMs trying to have sex with them and stuff. <laughs> Which is hysterical. Guys or women? Uh, I think he would guys. like, he would oh. kind of like talk to the, I think he would lay it around. He was going to everybody because the women okay. would also be like, uh, he like messages us things that he yeah. could have any woman he wants at any time. Just like weird. <laughs> That's <delusional. hysterical. laughs> what a fucking sociopath. And then he's like trying to like have sex with like Alex Dulesky and Josh Wells. <laughs> 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 Which I think are, like Josh. At the same yeah. time? <laughs> I think at different times, but the idea of just trying to, I don't know, a guy trying to have sex with Josh Wells. <laughs> <laughs> but he can have any woman at any time. I can have any of you at any time. <laughs> It's a rapist mentality. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This guy was out of his mind, and, you and did, you ever, did you ever see his like his uh, male model mm. thing? Mm. He had like a whole like profile about yes. like his uh, like on a male model like social media site, and it was like why he'd be a great male model, and he had this whole like like a. Uh, uh, he, he had a whole, like, bi a bio. You know what's really disturbing about that? I know how much money it takes into building a website. Right, yeah. To get that published, he probably paid up to $5,000. He probably he did. For sure didn't, yeah. but it was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like a... It was like a, it was like an already made site. It was yeah, like no, I've seen some of those already made yeah. are 5000 but it was just like a whole rambling thing about how he wants to be a model because he knows he's beautiful and this will help him at stand-up comedy. Yeah, the first line of like his yeah. pitch was like, I'm, ridic I'm ridiculously good looking or something. Yeah, he was, yeah. Like, the <laughs> was like... He was like the closest to real like Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he, uh, not as effective in that he didn't get on The Tonight Show, he just hit a cop with a camera. <laughs> Never quite made it to that thing. I mean... <laughs> The last time I saw him, I was at Reserve Club, which is a, a mic for crazy people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's some normals there, and then the normals kind of like uh, slowly but surely get more and more angry with the crazy. Yes. Yeah. You know, and um, and he was just there, and he gets up and he like just mumbles for like a while and talk about how mental illness is hard. And then I just like I just like sit next to the door. I'm like I'm getting out of here if he starts freaking out. <laughs> And he does like a minute and then just gets off stage and sits down. I never see him again. That was it. That yeah, was just, the last time. Just, uh, kind of, uh, Has there been a meltdown in the New Jersey scene recently? Um, there, there are like there, there are meltdowns, but I, I, I feel I almost feel like like I'll lose King of New Jersey status <laughs> if I expose all the scene. There's, <laughs> there's a big drama right now. Uh, oh, wow. there's a whole bunch of different dramas at different points. It's uh, he's always uh, something. Yeah. The breaking Such... up and recoupling thing is the big one. <sighs> I've heard I've heard some things. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a funny scene where people just. Uh, I don't know. It's like an episode of Jerry Springer. It really <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, it feels like one. Something. A lot of them are yeah. just, they're around, you know. And then some people don't get involved. Like like a Josh Wells is just a, a a good dude that has just avoided all of the drama for like yeah. years. Just people come and go. And He's like the comes. Undertaker of the Jersey yeah. scene. <laughs> so well respected. Yeah. <laughs> He's the leader of the locker room. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, it's just because he's just not having giant emotional breakdowns you know, all the time. Th there was a time when <laughs> Ryan Rumble bumped Mark Yobbs at a show and Josh Wells was waiting for him in the green room. Brass knuckles. With brass knuckles. Uh, Yobbs, he's a good... He, 
So, so like, there's kind of like the there's like the crazy people like the sick Vicks who are like a guy with ski mask. Just oh, like that guy. sick Vic is like the Ric Flair of the jerseys. So, yeah, <laughs> let me explain who sick Vic is. Uh, he's sick. Oh yeah, yeah. sick fuck. That's yeah, not, that's not for question. He is sick. He does okay. these one liners yeah. and. Um, I'm not suffering from insanity. I love it, you know. Yeah, like that sort of that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, he's like a, he's an older guy. Yeah. How old? Uh, uh, Six, he's be Sixty. Uh, <laughs> 60 I, I was picturing. But that. he, he yeah. goes by Sick Vic, which is always a welcoming thing for audiences. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he hisses on stage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I guess his joke will like bomb. And <laughs> like that. And it doesn't seem to go with bombing. Some some jokes he just goes, all right, his time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got yeah. him. He's a nut. You got this Yusef. This okay. guy Yusef. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's out of his he's mind. He's out of his mind. That guy. <laughs> we had the, we judged Fight Club, and uh, uh, he lost to another comic. To and Aaron, he, yeah. It's Aaron. <laughs> And uh, he accused like the judges of uh, of being like on our side or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. And I'm listening to this, as, not as because it was it was about me and Greg. Yeah. So I'm, I, and I'm like so retarded where I'm like, yeah, the judges were probably on. I'm like, well, you were the fucking judge. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. I remember that. He showed up uh, dressed like Luis Gomez. Yeah. And then he gets on stage, he's all happy, and everyone's like, why are you dressed like Luis Gomez? He's like, what? And then he like starts immediately getting shook. <laughs> he does his first joke, and he's like getting laughs, and he's like, hell yeah. And he just like does it for too long, and everyone's like, actually, he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. And then he just bombs the rest I of mean, the battle. I the, mean, the, the, every great like story needs a setting, and the setting yeah. in the New Jersey comedy scene is the Wawa. <laughs> yes, there's a yeah. place called Wawa. Yeah, that's the that's the big one. Yeah, it's a social club. When at, at the early uh, at the uh, at the post pandemic, what was it? Well, June of twenty twenty. Pandemic. Yeah, we was, were just we yeah. were just hanging out. It was like yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like still, still a pandemic, like right? Yeah. And like that was the only place where you could really do comedy. Yeah, and then. June of 2020, May, um, July, the summer of 2020, now New York started opening back up. Yeah. So that those first two months, everyone was at Wawa, and then like New York started opening back up, so everyone started going back to New York, and then whoever was left at the Wawa was there. Yeah. Right. And then it kind of reclosed. Everything reclosed again because it was like the winter, and then everyone went, everyone went back, and then slowly you started seeing like actual like a few comics from the city go there. Yeah. So they had like something really good. But then you, all of a sudden you're hearing people snort coke in the bathroom. And yeah, there's like different eras of Wawa. There's the, the period of time where you guys were coming in from Staten Island. Yeah. You guys were all really good. So like you like had like a pretty like I think mm. good shows like good like pretty like fun. Scene. Yeah, because even like Matt Matt yeah. like when I saw him there once I was like oh shit like oh, yeah. okay so like you know I I go by him sometimes where it's like if he's somewhere I'm like okay I'm not wasting my time. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, but you guys I think were there and then like the the fifth borough comedy thing where we did like the Fight Club there that was like yeah, really fun. That was great. And like there were some good times but like there's like at one point everyone was just doing drugs all the time to the point where like if you like guest hosted the mic you'd have to say like uh, no one's allowed to do drugs here. I know. Uh, yeah. One person in the bathroom at a time. <laughs> Because if two people were in the bath at the same time, they were just doing coke yeah. together. More sexual yeah. stuff. Yeah, I, not so much. Not so much. Not, <laughs> not, not, really not unless Tyler the, was there. Yeah. Tyler, okay. Okay. This was a pure yeah. fucking and drug drug drugs, drug. drugs and comedy. Yeah. Like, very little. It was sex. a halfway yeah. house with a bar. Yeah. yeah. And there were these regulars that you would know, like there was Diamond Dave, yeah. who was like oh, some long haired guy. guy that would say the N word sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was Tuna, who was just like some guy that sleeps there. Yeah. There's a guy named Tuna. Yeah. There was a woman with a dog. That that lady who like threatened to call the cops because no one wanted to hang out with her that's yeah. why they, it was it, it's a, a backdrop and that dog is, I mean, that dog is filthy, filthy. <laughs> it's old and filthy like, how I, long is the hair on it oh it's I, it's like one of those like what, what kind of dog is that i don't, I don't know. know it's like some sort of white like, yeah, yeah, dog. It, it's yeah. Not, the dog is just it, it's white but it's brown hair because it doesn't get bathed like, yeah i love and, dogs yeah. but that's the ugliest animal oh, I've ever seen. <laughs> and she just walks in with it and yeah she yeah. tried to call the cops because nobody wanted to hang out with her one night yeah, everyone's like, no one wants to hang out with you, lady. And then she's like, okay, I call police now. Yeah, the place just gets weirder and weirder, and you don't see it till other people show up. Like, oh, yeah. at some point, there's a guy named Steve Poston, who's a great dude. I love yeah. Steve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, at one point, I bought uh, camouflage Crocs. They're the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. Yeah. I was like, these would be funny to wear. And then Steve also bought them. <laughs> so we had matching shoes for a bit. But he's a good dude, and he, like, uh, he, he draws uh, all the comedians. He draws, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, some... Some are good, but some are uh, very bad. 
You're being very nice to him. Yeah, yeah. Summer bad <laughs> and, uh, and and he like, they started like hanging his pictures up at Walla. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, Walla, were you framing him and shit? Yes. Yeah, framed. Oh my god. And I, I was there one time. It was like a regular mic, and then uh, Sean Gardini was there, and Sean he like yeah. you know, he's like producing like you know uh, yeah, Shane Gillis. He's yeah, like doing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. We're sitting next to each other, and he's like. What, who are those pictures up behind everybody? <laughs> and I'm like, it's all the comics. He's like, why are all of them terrible? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, some are okay. <laughs> I, I thought that you were supposed to be intentionally bad. Yeah. That's what I thought. No, and I then, think... I, no, he's not, no. Because he yeah. explained to me one night. Because I was like, I, I'm like, those pictures are hilarious. <laughs> and he's just like, they're not supposed to be funny. <laughs> and I'm like, they're not? Yeah, they're earnest attempts at yeah, doing yeah. it. And I, uh, uh, he, he for like... He was uh he did one that was so bad one time. It was of uh it was of when Brian and Lauren were dating. He drew one of Lauren yeah. that was so yeah, bad yeah, that yeah. everyone was kinda like, This is actually fucked up for yeah. me to post. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't just draw like a really what? ugly drawing of a girl. Yeah. Like, especially right. a pretty girl. Like exactly. I think that's not but yeah. she's an attractive girl, yeah. <laughs> and then you're like looking at this picture. And then you look at her, and, and then you look like, at her. I'm like, she's she not goes that out with looking. Yeah. <laughs> then she goes out with Brian. She's going out with Brian. You're like, yeah. I knew there was something up with you. Like, what's going on here? He had to like redraw her and stuff. Yeah, it was, like, yeah. really bad. He drew Brian's face onto hers. <laughs> but it's such an interest. It's it's such yeah. an interesting scene. I, I, it's 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 like one of the most. It's if you are like a comic, just go there, go to one mic and just yeah. hang out with these people, and they are characters. Yeah, if you just go to one every once in a while, you'll get booked on some of the shows. You'll be part <laughs> of the scene. Like it's it, it's fine and it's fun. Everyone does genuinely seem to like each other. Yeah, they get along. Or, or actually, well, there's all right, so there's a group of like normals, and then there's sort of like weirdos that like can hang with the normals, and then there's complete weirdos. Yes, like the sick vix, and there's other people that like. Like Mark Random hangs out sometimes. Oh yeah, I've seen oh, him like those people like never like those people never get embraced by the main group. But like if you're like somewhat normal, like you'd be fine there. Yeah, which I don't understand why Mark Random yeah. is in the sick Vic category. He should it's really be in so the middle. Up. Nah, he's no. uh, he's too got because like cause certain people like 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 you're like you're like one of the odder guys in, in New York, Mateo. Yeah, you would yeah. be like a Jersey like normal. You would fit in. <laughs> no, but I get, I get like, yeah. plenty of these people. Yeah, yeah, you because because like because to be like a true Jersey weirdo, you can't like. You can't make any friends with anybody. Right. That yeah. is true. Yeah. yeah. You have to yeah. be a loner. That is yeah. weird. Yeah. 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 Mateo's like a like a happy puppy. Yeah. 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 He, he makes friends very easily. You very. never think it, but he does. I do. Mark Random. I think it might be o my, Mark Random's only friend. I don't think I'm <laughs> I don't want to call him a friend. I'll call him an acquaintance or a business associate. I will book How him. you a business associate? I will book him on podcasts for a weird... Pascal and Random. Let me finish. Is, I, I, will, I will book him on podcasts. Just to hear his ramblings of a madman <laughs> for monetization on YouTube. He was demonetized? No, think, no, I am. He's do you think he works for Mark Random? Yeah, that's why yeah, he wants to shut up. up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like I like Mateo though because I think I think some people like back in New York will sometimes try to like dismiss him. And yeah. I think that's a sign of bad character. To yeah, yeah, Mateo. of course. Because he's a he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Well, he's grown to be normal. That's what, yeah. that's the yeah. disturbing yeah. part of it. I know. I tried hard. Yeah, yeah you all tried way too hard. You got to put it back. A little bit. I want the old Mateo back where he was just blurt things out like Sinbad. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we did a uh, we did a uh, Mike what let. Wait, no, you did our show at Eastville. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh yeah, yeah. And you fucking left the light on. I'm like, what is this? So so like, I, 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 I you had, returned back to old Mateo. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure. So I had a show at Eastville. <laughs> and, um, well, first we, off, wait, explain to what happened at the mic, though. The week before that, we well, did a mic out here. We brought Mateo to this mic yeah. in Staten Island. And uh, <laughs> supposedly he went up and just yelled. What'd you yell at a lady? Oh, I was. It was playing crowd work. I was trying to like. I was trying to work on crowd work. So I have this whole thing in my head. And like, Smart. I said to a woman, "Yo, you. What would you do? I've been watching a lot of pornography lately. He's had a horrible addiction. <laughs> and I love the, the thing more I love than the sex and porn is uh, the dialogue. Yeah. What would you do if a guy said to you if you were just like on a third date, ma'am? You got a scrumptious looking pussy. Yeah, he said this scrumptious yeah. looking pussy. Yeah. You said this to a. So this to a, a, well, at least a 19 year old girl. Well, here's the thing: like, you can kind of on stage talk, point to any guy and ask any sex question. Right. But yeah. You can't really do it to women. This yeah. That was the yeah. point. I was seeing all these yeah. clips of Patrice O'Neill doing that to women. Yeah. You're not a Patrice O'Neill. No, I'm trying to be the anti. Like reversing a weird thin white guy doing it. No one looks at you and goes, "That guy reminds me of Patrice O'Neill." No one even looks at you and goes, "That guy reminds me of Gilbert Godfrey." Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. 
Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, so at this uh, show that was running, Mateo came down. He yeah. Weasel his way on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a big help because he was yeah. taking pictures. You asked me that. to, I'd do it. Th th thank you. I appreciate it. I like to say, Weasel, I, I did your service. You paid quid pro quo. <laughs> <laughs> so, um,. So I'm like, all right, Mateo, you can do five at the end of the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. And he bows to me as he does. <laughs> and uh, at, <laughs> and at the end of the show, at the end of the show, I, I, you know, because I was doing the light in yeah. Eastville, um, you have the stoplight. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, you know, I, I kept the light on until I went on stage. I, I guess I should have just give the light, but I wanted to make sure the comic saw it. Yeah. So <laughs> the comic before him, I kept the light. Yeah, you know, I gave the yeah. comic a light. I kept it on. Mateo goes on the stage with the light on. And after about a minute, he thinks he got the light. <laughs> so he wound up only doing two minutes. <laughs> nah, that's not true at all. He did like five. I did six. No, you didn't. I had the video footage. You did not do six. We're going to have to see this video footage. Okay. Did, he, did four, he did four minutes. No, he, four he, fifty. He I, did saw two that, I saw it on his on his, on his camera. Wait, are you doing this for comedic effect? No. Because you know you don't do that on the show. We're very literal people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am. I'm yeah. about you two. Yeah. You, did, you did about two minutes, Mateo. Okay. I I I I, 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 I kind of my joke. You challenging me on the no, how I'm, I take I, things. No, literally? no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I, like joke wise, I, the longest I've ever done is twenty. I can do twenty, but I I did two. I'm just saying I have lots of material. I I thought I was getting in early. Right. <laughs> so back to the Mateo being normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, we were talking about the, uh, the 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 tears of freedom in New oh, Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And uh, Mark Random, who I don't I don't know why he's thrown in because he doesn't even show up that much, does yeah, he? he well, he's like, both uh, the gas digital and compound a lot, so that's what people give him credit. He was the mics like once, like yeah, he was like I one mic so. every once in a while. But, so I, I don't think he's he's not. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't even go to the Wawa. The Wawa I actually like, I I like I like Random. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I Because a lot of people don't really know this, but like when the mics are off, he's only like half the person. He's he like, really is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's really true. He's actually, a very yeah. nice guy yeah. when the mics are off. Yeah. When he's on stage, I don't know what happens, Mark. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's just like ego. But uh, I guess the bigger weirdos are there. People you wouldn't even know. Like there's there's some guy like in New Brunswick named Winstein who yeah. like got banned from like. Uh, He's like a black dude that got banned from Stress Factory for saying the N-word too much. <laughs> that seems like a like, weird you know, place. How you have to be to be a black guy that can't say the N-word? Oh my god, like, that's, that's hilarious. Yeah, it, it's very it, it's very. So odd. what does he do, like Comedy Club instead? No, he goes nowhere. He would just every once in a while go to this place called the George Street Co-op, and then he would like... <laughs> He would like do comedy, and then all the women would be like, "I hate him," and that would be it. Like a whole gender was like, "I hate this well, guy." Look, there's that other kid, kid, Hakeem Law. Oh yeah, yeah. but he kind of goes back and forth because sometimes he's normal, and then every yeah. once in a while he like really flips out. He's the Antonio Brown of the New Jersey yeah. comedy scene. <laughs> yeah, there's that guy, and even his name, Hakeem Law. Yeah, like, yeah, he that's wants a, that's to, like, a, yeah. He wants to like beat everyone up. Like, <laughs> not even like fuck everyone up, beat everyone up. <laughs> there was a point where so like, I'll beat you up. <laughs> There was a point where uh, Allie was real mad because there was a guy, Allie May was real mad because there was a guy named Tilted Cone, who's another, uh, that's a big, yeah, it's a big Jersey weirdo. That's the sad likes. boys guy. Yeah, the hashtag sad boys. I don't mind him. I think he listens yeah. to the show. He listens show. to the show, so I don't mind him at all. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't. We I, fuss with you, Tilted yeah. Cone. I like Tilted Cone. <laughs> We're hashtag sad boys, Tilted Cone. <laughs> but he, he was saying the N-word, and Allie was very mad about that, and so she was like messaging people being like, yeah, I Okay, we no guy. longer fucks with you, Tilted Cone. <laughs> He's saying the N-word. We worship you now. <laughs> He's saying the N-word publicly, and then uh, she like had a post where she was saying, like, uh, everyone I've talked to has understood that Tilted Cone can't say the N-word except for Hakeem Law. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird, because Hakeem's black, so I was like... What an hilarious I don't understand lines. why. <laughs> and then Hakeem, like, the next comment is just... Uh, uh, I'll kill your family, <laughs> which is not <laughs> right, but is good comedic timing. Yeah, very, very <laughs> good. <be> like, <laughs> it's sick comedic timing. <laughs> These people are insane. Yeah. Because Allie Brand is like kind of she's becoming a bigger comic, so they're yeah, going yeah. after her. Yeah, yeah she's I mean, a nice person. She shouldn't like even know their friend. names. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she shouldn't be. She shouldn't be worrying about what these are doing. They have like, so much integrity. Though. Yeah, they don't care. Who they don't care. They treat everybody the same. <laughs> they're like they're like homeless people. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Spare some change. I mean, it's such a. It's it's so. Good. I'm glad to be kind of part of the scene because I out here on Staten Island we had a small scene and we we had freaks, but now we don't have any freaks. See, cause I, I, I think like we still have freaks. Or maybe, like maybe we are the freaks. I used to go to your shows and, and you guys like had all these freaks that you guys seemed to like. Yeah. Where you'd be like, it's oh. this guy, and then it'd be just some old man. And you guys are all like 
<laughs> do like a standing ovation for some guy, and then he would be like, what to do, or something. He has some catchphrase, and everyone's like, ah! <laughs> thinking of my cousin Russ. Yeah, your cousin Russ. Oh, yeah. I, was, I wasn't even thinking of Russ. I was thinking of others. Yeah. Who do you think about? Terrible Tim? No, not even. Oh, we had him. Oh, uh, Daddy Tom Marie. Tim. Well, he wasn't. Around, he's not around that much. No, he's not. But he's still a freak. I booked him, and it was a great episode. What's oh. that? You, you know, you probably know that documentary. Um, the um, in the mental as- asylum, uh, Tilla, uh, Tillicone Follies. Yeah, what about it? What, is that what it's called? I don't know what it's called, but I know what you're talking you about. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's banned. It was banned. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the people in that documentary all look like the are of Staten Island. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really true. You yeah. can look the clips up on YouTube. Yeah. Like, well, you guys would you guys would kind of like embrace them and then like find ways to like ha- to work with them. Right. Yeah. 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 Course, like so. like Jersey is not like Josh Wells is not embracing the freaks. No, he's letting them. He's he's sit in the wind. No. Kind of. But that's why I always loved about Fight Club. Yeah. Yeah. Because Matt like always had these freaks on the show yeah and he would like have like you know uh, he would book like John Fox versus poor like Katie Boyle and then he would feel bad for Katie Boyle <laughs> it's, it's the roast John Fox John Fox is just reading off his notebook like yeah you look like a loser <laughs> whatever one of his jokes is um, not jokes but it's like, like, it one of his probably jokes yeah. but like that's what I always liked about the show and uh, and then it like went away for a second when you guys moved to the stand. Yeah. Because you obviously could not do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> they shouldn't have made like a. But now it's back to where you have these. Yeah. yeah. Have these like. And now you have an abundance of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> too many. Yeah. We have an abundance of like every. It's like almost like every uh, every month we've got like a new like. Can we? Like, do... We've got like a new kind of like weird one that people get excited. You about. know how like Raw and SmackDown have a brand yeah. split. How, can we do a freak draft with you guys? I want to. Comedy yeah, yeah. Fight Club. We should. Greg and Rob podcast. No, I, got, I got a few of my own, too. You're, on the, you're, you're our main freak. <laughs> no, 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 like, like the freaks, you're like Kurt Angle. I know that, but I'm saying the freaks that I have in my the lot of idiots are some of the guys you don't know. I can we can cross promote them. Well, we'll take all those. Don't uh, even yeah, yeah, no, put them got. on the list. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Who are your freaks? What are you talking about? Phil Philly? Philly? No, 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 I'm not talking about Phil Philly. You are the Professor Chaos of life. We want them. Yeah. yeah, there's always my favorite battle every week is always whatever the weird one is. Like John Fox and Anthony Quinn was one recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, he's, he's a, a good so one. He's a he's a good one too. Yeah. <laughs> we have a freak auction. <laughs> I, I like I like Anthony Quinn. I think he's he's a he's a, a good guy, but he's he's also just like he's so emotional, you know. Oh it's, yeah. He it's runs old. a weird open mic in Jersey where like they're just like these like st- like dead child statues all over the place. It's like a metal bar. <laughs> oh Jesus. There's like, these weird like dead statues. Well, it's like he, a metal like pro like, like um the the statues. It's heavy metal. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah that's what oh, I no, meant, the like, statues I think are made of plaster. No, no, no I don't understand. Is it a Christian like theme or is no, it's like, like, no, the Sandy no. Hook kids? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just like it's just like some weird like uh, like sort of gothy bar thing. And then he shows up, and then he goes, "I'm Anthony Quinn," and then everyone claps normally. Yeah, yeah. And then he gets pissed at everyone for not like standing over him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he like that he kind of like fights there. It's it's very. I, see, is it all? Sh- so you're saying he's emotional? I just always assume it's shtick. Uh, he's like a he's like a Gorman. Like when you talk to Gorman, it's like all shtick. And like who, Anthony, Joe? Quinn, no, because they're like Joe, the same guy. To me. I think Joe doesn't care about anything. I feel like I feel like they're almost two sides of the same. Anthony corner. Quinn's. Where Joe cares about nothing and Anthony Quinn cares about everything. <laughs> well, everything is Anthony yeah, Quinn. Yeah, jo- Joe. Like I, I don't even. Like, I've hung out with Joe for like like periods of time, and like I still don't feel like I know who that guy is. <laughs> no, you, you, him, like, you and him were close at one point. Yeah, right? we still, we sang out a little bit like when yeah. he was in Jersey, but he's a guy that like he only talks in bits. Like yeah, he doesn't but really. But doesn't like, Anthony Quinn do the same thing? No. <laughs> he's being serious the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I, think, that. I mean, a little bit, but he, he like he's he, there's like something funny about him, but he's not like. He isn't talking bits the way like Joe Gorman does. I I thought everything was like we'll talk conspiracy. Yeah. And I just think it's a big joke. <laughs> <laughs> He's really genuinely talking to me about this guy. He's like, man, I fucking love Bigfoot and shit, man. Yeah, I thought that was like he a does. bit. No, I'd yeah. play along with him. We could treat him like my uncle Anthony, <laughs> Michael Tony, Michael Tony, Tony, Tony Quinn. Quinn. I didn't know he was he was serious. <laughs> Oh, I, I, now I got to look at him in a whole different way. You should. But yeah, we're like hanging out. We're talking about his baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I oh, I love his baby. Yeah, when he did yeah. Fight Club, I like, but I, I when he did the stand, I like, at top, I was like, you have to understand his catchphrases. I'm Anthony Quinn. Yeah. I have a baby. And if you don't loudly clap when he says them, you're technically sandbagging him now that you know that. <laughs> so he goes up, goes, I'm Anthony Quinn. Huge applause. And, it, and you know him and John Fox. The best part of that was him just saying that John Fo- calling John Fox a tough guy for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> he called John Fox yeah, a tough guy. Yeah, take that tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> big tough guy John Fox. Oh my god! Yeah, like it's it's such a it's like I said, it's such a yeah. fucking great scene. <laughs> like you go to other scene, like I mean, New York has yeah. them, but like they they just get buried. You can't do it. You well, can't. Yeah, people are, they're, they're trying to get somewhere, so there's they've got no time yeah. to figure out like they have no time to be freaky. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like some people are like weird in New York, but it's harder to get you, you like, any. You have, to, you have to be too many places. You ever yeah. talk to someone in New York, like in, in New York, and you ever talk to like a, a comic that you kind of respect? Yeah, and you see him around. Mm-hmm. And then you're just like, and you talk to them for the first time in a conversation, yeah. 10, 15 minutes, and you go, wow, this guy's fucking out of his mind. <laughs> like, uh, he'll just talk to someone, just, you respect him. Like, yeah. this guy's funny, I think he has a, you know, and he gets booked on shows and shit yeah. like that. And then you, like, 10 minutes, and then you're just like, oh, this guy's a fucking nut. Like, but, like, like Osama? Yeah, like yeah. Osama yeah. Sadiq. Yeah. 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 yeah, I was talking to him one time, and he was just, I was just like, I respect this guy, you know, I was a hustler, yeah. you know, did, did everything, you know. And I'm like, talking for about 10 minutes, I was like, Oh fuck it, this guy. He doesn't let me get a word in. Yeah, he's just yeah. rambling. He's yeah. just like, I, and they're yeah. like doing voices. He's like, my mother, and how are you doing? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm like, oh my god, I can't do this. I got to to, walk away. to make an impression, New York get to be everywhere. You yeah. can go to you go to Wallace Social Club once a month, and people are like, oh, I know who that guy is. Yeah, right. Right. but like if you like at, at, at oh, you New got, York, you get to be everywhere. You, like you gotta be everywhere yeah. anytime, like at, like all the time. You gotta be like. Well, that's why I never when I, like when I first started out, you did like you know the three mics a night kind of thing or yeah. whatever, yeah. and. I never understood the guys who were doing three mics a night, but all in the same neighborhood. Like, if yeah, they were, like, yeah. especially, like, East Village, like, it would be yeah. the pair and the, and the Laren, and then you go to the, the Climat, right? Yeah. It made no sense, because you're running into the same people. If you're yeah. going to do three mics, like, when I, we would do, I would be in Williamsburg to Bushwick to yeah, the city. Sense. Like, because that way you're there, around every scene that night. There yeah. was, uh, one time we did it. We were doing, uh, we did Creek in the Cave at six, and then we ran out to Alligator Lounge. Yeah. Six and eight, right? Yeah. yeah. And we were called last, and the last four comics were me and Rob, Alex Davenport, Jamie Wolf, and this other kid, and I forget who it was. And then we did Alligator Lounge, and the last four comics of the night was <laughs> Alex Davenport, Jamie Wolf, and me and Rob, <laughs> and that same kid. And it was so, I don't know, I don't know if someone made a phone call just to troll everyone. Because yeah. that's something I would do. I would, yeah. oh, totally. I would totally do that. It's probably just, at that time, they just didn't know you guys that well. So yeah. was like, ah, oh, we don't know these names. And then they're like, ah, oh, like, whatever, we'll put in the end again. Um, oh, man. The, the big, one of the big New York readers, and I like the guy a lot, but, uh, is Steve Yenzel, but he is oh, everywhere. Yeah, it's yeah. because he's like he has an electric skateboard, so he can get everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's in everything, just talking about uh, what you can, what animals you can and can't have sex with. Yeah, he, he has a dog. He had, a, you know, he, he still has a dog. Well, so you don't bring it around. Anymore? No, it's still everywhere. The, dog's, the yeah, dog stays dog. home. Yeah, the, <laughs> dog's, the dog's like, I'm not going tonight. <laughs> That's another dog that yeah. I love dogs, but yeah. I hate that. Dog. <laughs> I kicked it once, <laughs> and the dog is so stupid. It's, it's my boot. <laughs> it would take any type of affection. And he's like a construction worker, right? I don't think he has a job right now, but he. he <laughs> just, <laughs> so he just dresses that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he has that thing because he is only hit by cars on his electric skateboard. Uh, oh my yeah, god, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit, that's the fucking gayest shit I've ever heard in my life. I thought he was a construction worker. No, I, already, just, I was waiting for you to figure it no, out. No, he's the idiot. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's, a I mean, he's on the yeah. skateboard all day, he's getting hit by cars. Yeah. I, I, he just doesn't want to get hit by cars. Oh, fuck. Uh. Fucking Yensel. Well, now I'll shit talking because I thought it was this hard bodied construction. I thing. thought he was like, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. Because it was like a carpenter. I was like, this carpenter wants to just stand up at night and freak everyone out. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, like, like there at Creek in the Cave, there was a lot. There was yeah, a ton. There were a lot of fucking. You didn't have to go places. You could just be there all day. Oh, there yeah. Were people that wouldn't leave. Yeah. One kid, uh, Joseph Roberts, used to just, like sleep there. <laughs> like he would like fucking. Yeah. Just but he was not like a freak. He wasn't a freak. Yeah. But that's a freak move. That's a freak yeah. move. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, he might be like, like he might be a freak, yeah. and because of the environment, he's not a freak anymore. Because there are people right. that like. Yeah. There's a lot of comedians. If you take them out of comedy. You put them in like a normal environment, and you know, oh my else. god, yeah. Yeah. oh my god, that guy's a nightmare. <laughs> Definitely. Like, I, there's a there's a story uh, like uh, like Andrew Castrochano worked for Sam Stevens. Yeah. At, uh, when they worked in an office job, mm-hmm. and Andrew's hilarious. 
in our world. Yes. But then they put him in an office and he's doing impressions of the boss and he's like <laughs> humping a computer in the middle. Of the, he didn't last until 12 o'clock. So that was like, you gotta go. <laughs> Which is hysterical to us. But like, can you imagine being like yeah, in yeah. working there for 12 years and you see this guy yeah. and he's doing impressions of the boss and you're like, get this fucking kid out of here. We're trying to sell fucking pens. We're trying to sell shirts. Yeah. yeah. I, don't tell, I don't really talk about comedy at all to the people I work with because I just feel like I don't want to be like seen that way. Yeah. I'm like a weird, like goofy comedy person, you know. Like, right. Then I need to yeah. like, hey, tell me a joke. Yeah. <laughs> they all found out I, uh, I did comedy like yeah. through, through Facebook because I always never told anybody. Yeah. Never, yeah. And then they one day like my fucking face popped up on the people you know and they were like, oh, you're a comedian? Tell us a joke. No. Well, there, there yeah, is. They other- should know that you do comedy because otherwise, like, 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 like Bobby Sheehan, like he right. he used to work at an office and like no one knew that he did comedy. And I was like, what do they think you do at night? And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, you have no girl. Like, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have no girlfriend. You do nothing at night. You don't drink. What do they think yeah, you're yeah. doing? Yeah. Well, you know what happened was I, 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 dr- I have a van, yeah. right, that we take, you know, out in the community, right? And I'll be with my coworkers. Yeah. And uh, I'll run into, like, Patrick Haggerty and yeah. Darren Joseph, like, during the day. Yeah. And I, I'd see them and, I, you know, I'd say hello. And, like, Pat, you know, like, the way he looks... <laughs> And like how, also how awkward a conversation it is. <laughs> he comes like walking into my van, and yeah. I'm like, "Hey, what's up, dude?" And he's like, "Hey, man." <laughs> and uh, I'm like, "I'll see you later." He goes, "I will be seeing you later." <laughs> and then them not knowing the context, it looks like me and this guy are gonna have gay sex. <laughs> and, a little twink. And yeah. yeah. And then like a week later, I see Darren, uh, Darren Joseph, and his nickname's the Boss Man. And I lower my window and I go, "Boss Man!" And he goes, "What's up?" And then I just go, just say hello. And these people think I have a, like a fucking gay sex with this old man, boss man guy. No, so you're having sex with the twink Pat. And, yeah. Uh, and you're, uh, uh, Darian's your sugar daddy. Without context, it seems like I'm just a yeah, fucking... Yeah, gay guy. Yeah, pervert. <laughs> Who has sex with old men <laughs> and, and possibly are underage men? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, those guys also aren't gay, but you can almost see it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, they could they could be like they, positively gay guys if you know. They can play gay. Yeah. They can yeah, definitely yeah, play absolutely. gay. Absolutely, that's where I was yeah. going with that. They can easily play gay. So I had to like at least I was I couldn't wait for them to find out. Yeah. That, and then they're like, "Oh, those your friends you all see during the day?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, thank God." Because yeah. and plus they all I think my coworkers all thought I was gay for a while. Well, they can sense that you have a secret. They just don't know what yeah, the secret is. Right. Why wouldn't the secret be that he's gay? Yeah, yeah. They're not gonna Why would put... he not tell us he does comedy? <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to put two and two together. Yeah. Well, there is nothing worse than being, like, you know, turn to someone like, I'm a comedian. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. awful. Yeah. awful. Yeah. It's always the worst people, too, to do it. When you get yeah. it on the... Because yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get people from out here. Mm-hmm. Like, one time I was at a bar, and this, I was well into comedy. This yeah. was only a couple of years ago. And this kid just turns around and goes... And I'm just talking to him for some reason, and he's just like, well, I'm a stand-up comedian. And I'm like, are you? You know, like, because I'm like, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a comic. I never, yeah. I never seen you. And then he just started backpedaling. He's like, well, I did it years ago. And I'm like, do you know, like, I always just say Kirshner. Yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know John, you know, like stuff like that. And I'm like, we should come back into doing comedy. And then we tried to book him on, like, a show, because I figured, you know, he'll bring a bunch of people. A bunch of people. Yeah. And he said yes, and then bailed. Yeah, yeah. I was at a bar recently out here, and it was actually kind of cool because I was getting recognized a lot. And uh, fucking, I'm outside smoking a cigarette, and this this kid comes up to me and goes, "Dude, you're so funny. I love your videos." And I'm like, "What?" He's like, "You're a comedian." And I'm like, "I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know." And he uh, he's like, "Dude, I love your videos, man." And he thought I was this guy, Eric Delessandro. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a Staten Island comic yeah. from yeah. like he does like these like bad like yelling the car videos. Oh, yeah. so he knows, yeah. And he's like, dude, I need a picture. I gotta show it to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah, of course. Now, now I'm just fucking like I'm gonna fuck with this guy. I'm like, of yeah. course I'm gonna fucking take a picture with you. <laughs> and I just take a photo. He's like, dude, this is great. It was like the day before yeah. Thanksgiving. He's like, I'm gonna tell my mother tomorrow. I'm gonna show it to her. This is great. Every other soldier, I can't believe it. And I'm just like, he's like, the guy was hammered. Yeah. As as I w- was I. Yeah. Uh, I didn't uh, like that cop in the show earlier. Uh-huh. The, guy, the guy got hammered. Oh, yeah. oh like the cop. Yeah. 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 Tails making a callback. Right. Call, a very late one. Callback. Call back. 
Thank you. Call back. Thank you. We like your callbacks. We like your callbacks. I like your callbacks. Like call 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 like your call 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 yeah, yeah, people from out here are fucking hilarious. They have no sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's people out here. People sound aren't funny? No, oh, ter- terribly unfunny. <laughs> ter- <laughs> ter- 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 like, that's like the yeah. thing. People, a lot of people are like, uh, Greg and Rob, you like the regular guy, humor. I'm like, no, I hate it. I can't <laughs> stand, stand it. it. It's yeah. the worst. That fucking, like, bullshit, yeah. like, union man fucking it's sense not, of it's, humor. It's very dated humor. It's awful. Yeah, well, average people, like, that, like they, they, they don't... They're not super funny, but they also don't need to be. Like, like the level of f- thing to be the funniest guy at the pizza place is not as funny as... Yeah, when you, of course. When yeah. you take that guy, right? That yeah. funny guy. That's why I hate fucking TikTok. Yeah. So when you oh. take that guy that the funniest guy at the deli at the pizza place yeah. or the barber shop, then you put yeah. them on stage in front of people... They are terribly unfunny. But I kind of yeah. like no, the yeah. fact that they're like uh, they're like terribly unfunny, but they're funny to regular people. Because yeah. I would be, I, I, I hate like uh, the piano man where John is behind the bar and he was well, that the one who's the one who's the actor thinks he's gonna be a movie mm. star. Mm. Him? If I could get out of this place. Yeah, I hate, fucking hate that. Like, because yeah. like the guy is just like, be oh, the, yeah, be the funny guy at the pizza yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but don't true. be like a hidden talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, that's true. Fucking, if you're gonna be a hidden talent, go fucking take an acting class the, or something. There's a pizza place in Jersey City, and like, this is the guy I'm thinking of. He's like this, uh, the like tall, balding guy. And we're there, and like, ever, there's just tons of people hanging out yeah, there. Yeah, I have yeah. no idea they work there, they're delivery people. Yeah. And then some woman comes in, and he goes, hey, it's the dike. And then everyone laughs. <laughs> huge, huge laugh. Well, that's that's, that's, pretty, them. that's yeah. pretty, yeah, that's a fire ass joke. <laughs> 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 He's doing He's saying a mean thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and like not clever either, but yeah. like I'm like, oh, it's nice. They're happy. She was happy. She loved it. She's like, that's me. <laughs> she comes in. <laughs> me, I'm Jane the Dyke. <laughs> No, um, you take those like uh, those funny people, and then every now and then you'll see like a person that's like like uh, naturally funny. That, yeah, you know, they'll they'll, they'll do well. But I can't stand it. I hate that shit. I, and then I, I, I'm on, because I was on TikTok and I just see this lady on there. Her name's like Lisa, funny Lisa Marie. Mm-hmm. She's like from here, from Staten Island. And she, it, it, the whole thing is her. Oh, she's doing St. George Theater. Yes. I oh. saw that on my Facebook page. Oh, she's from out here? She's from here. Let's get tickets. Let's go. Let's, Let's go, go see her. her. Let's go. Let's do it. Fucking. <laughs> I might. I, 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 funny Marie. Maybe she's been doing stand up for a while. I don't she's know. Not, I'm not a comedian. She's not a comic. Yeah. yeah. I don't think There's so. something slightly different about being funny on TikTok versus being funny on stage. Like, Absolutely. Like, the likability yeah. is different. a little oh, bit yeah. different. Yeah. 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 It's very different. It's different. Like, there's a way that hot girls can be funny on, like, TikTok that, like, if you do it on stage, is like, unbelievably, like, awful. Yeah. Oh, cringe. That, it's that's so such a great, It's a great yeah. point. Because it's, 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 it's a yeah. great point. Because if you saw them uh, on, like, because you, you scroll through TikTok and, like, yeah. you, and, like, you're like, oh, like a funny woman. You know, she's, because literally the girls on, the girl on TikTok that I'm talking yeah. about, the, the whole act is about, like, you know, shopping. Is she hot? Yeah. She's not bad looking. Okay. Not a bad looking lady. So they're the you know people are just like you know very everyday. Yeah. Like she does a joke about her husband being lazy. Like people yeah. love that shit on TikTok. Then you, when you see that live at a comedy show, right? When you do when you do yeah. stand up and you see something like that live. Yeah. It there's a feel the room that mm-hmm. like a comedian only gets. Like yeah. Like last night I did a show where I'm like, oh, these people are kind of like dirtier. Hacky shit, but dirty hacky shit. Yeah. So I have to have a little bit of material for that. Yeah. And then I can work on my shit. Like a, a comedian who, who you know, a TikToker who tried to do stand up, they, they, they're going to go up and they're going to think like, oh, like I'm just going to do the shit I talk about naturally. Yeah. No, that's not going to, ha- that's not going to go over because the collective is like, okay, let's hear what you really have to say, maybe. Yeah, because in stand there's a degree of like being there for the audience that's in front of you. Mm. So you have to like connect to the audience that's in front of you and right. like on TikTok, they put you in like the algorithm so you go to the people that want to see what you're go into. Go right into So it. Like, like I mostly, I, I do Instagram reels and I mostly just get hot chicks because that's what I end up like staring at mm-hmm. as I'm like flipping through. Yeah. And they'll be like, they'll be like funny but they'll be like kind of funny and like a, I'm hot and you'll never get me. Right, which yeah. is like funny on like Instagram, yeah. but like terror. If you did that in person, oh, you have to you commit. Like, you have to commit. Fuck out of here. Yeah, you yeah. You have yeah. to commit to that character yes. too. Yeah, yeah, like no matter what, like you can never break. Yeah. And also, if you get like heckled, like by like some like fucking dude, like they literally have to stay in there. You have to yeah. stay in the fucking pocket. And yeah. like I'm hot, you can never fucking get this pussy. I don't understand why women don't ever like if they get heckled. Like the easiest, com- easiest comeback yeah. is always you can never get this pussy or you have a small dick. <laughs> 
Nobody is going to Yeah, like, yeah. It, that's the easiest thing and in the like, world. And, like, they can't fist fight you. Like, yeah, just, no. you know. yeah, you have all the power. Yeah. If well, you, you, people generally don't fight you on stage. I'll, like, all. you ever, like, have someone heckle you and then you just, like, talk a bunch of shit and say yeah, yeah. off stage, you're like, oh, fuck, what did I do? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, all, <laughs> time, all time. Last night. <laughs> last night. Uh, yeah, last night, uh, the, uh, some guy, uh, big ass fucking kid with a rocker shirt, yeah. like, Greg's just calling him, like, a virgin and shit like that. <laughs> and then I'm like, and it was like, and we were hosting, it was like yeah. beginning of the show, too. So I was when like, the on stage magic goes off, and you're just like, oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck, and then I'm like, I gotta, then we gotta walk, because tw- it was at Tiff's. Yeah. You gotta walk through them, basically, you mm-hmm. know? And thank God this guy was on the left side of the room. So, yeah, then he, I don't want to get the tap either. Yeah. You know, like, hey, that was great, man. I, I don't want any audience interaction. I hate it. Yeah. I don't want like, no audience interaction. Yeah. Like, you know, like, not, not, I don't mind when I'm on stage, but like, yeah. when off I get stage. off stage, yeah. when like, you know, I, I don't want to, I'm like, just. I know. try to be better about it. I feel like I should be better with it, but with with Fight Club, like, I, for, for opening Fight Club, I'm like very aggressive up top. Like, yeah, clap, yeah. you know, get ready for yeah. this. We're going to see blood. Like, I'm yelling yeah, at everybody. Yeah, yeah. And I did that one time, and then a guy afterwards, like, good show, man. And we're like, we're talking, like, we're like, yeah. really standing next to each other, kind of like, for like a moment of silence. He's like, you're not as intimidating off stage as you are on. <laughs> well, that's it's very just, true. Just, yeah, because yeah. I'm just yelling at everyone like, shut the fuck up, we're doing comedy. Yeah. You, I, yeah. I forget <laughs> that the character you do basically a Fight Club yeah. is an intense guy. Yeah. <laughs> and you off stage and like here, like yeah. you're very reserved. There's yeah. no one more relaxed than you are. Maybe besides Josh Wells. And he also goes <laughs> by the big dog. Yeah. So, <laughs> Which is just me. I, I, liked, I liked calling people the big dog at Mike's. Yeah. And then I just... Stuck gave it to him. I gave me and him the same nickname. <laughs> yeah. you got these two big dogs running around, but they're like, you know, they put their bellies. They're very cold. <laughs> yeah, because but that's yeah. interesting because yeah, like because you, you're doing it. You, but that's how you know the characters actually doing well because you're doing it. It's over. over. It's over. It's yeah. over. Yeah. You know, like people actually think that you're this psycho yeah. who's ready to fucking bite their heads off. Yeah, there's like I'm glad you like the show, man. It was fun, fun when everyone was mean to each other. I, 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 well, I think one of the funniest things, if if you please, if sure. whoever's listening, check it out. Uh, you battled Sean Gardner, yeah, for the right? comedy fight club And I, I yeah. thought that was the funniest fucking thing. I, I appreciate you saying that because uh, in the room it felt very different. It, it, it could have been. Oh, it translated yeah. to us on YouTube. But it was <laughs> fucking. Hard. I was on the floor yeah. laughing. For that, yeah. I wanted to do like a, a roast battle with like no traditional jokes. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to all be different, and I like had uh, my friend Max come up and like read a prepared <laughs> statement about what a good guy I was, <laughs> and the whole audience was just like. We hate this. Yeah, yeah. And then like uh, I like I just like act angry at Sean, and Sean's doing like actual good jokes, yeah. and like people are, like he's not taking the the, the championship <laughs> seriously. <laughs> and then for round two, I like I pretend to beat up Max. Yeah. I put him in the ankle lock, and then everyone's like, <laughs> like uh, I like why is he doing this? When, and then at the end, at, when I did because when I did all three rounds where I did weird shit each time, at the end of it, people were like, okay, I kind of see what that was, and yeah. like a few people afterwards were like. That was funny now that I've seen the whole thing, but yeah. during it, everyone, it felt like everyone was a little bit mad at me. We start <laughs> with the ankle lock, because he brought out the guy in the yeah. beginning, and then, like, I guess the first round didn't go too yeah, well. Yeah, and that bombed, and then yeah. when I brought him back up, I could hear people in the audience being like, no, not yeah, more yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah. And then I, like, I beat him up, and then everyone, like, you'd think they would start cheering, but they were just like, no, oh, that's, what is this? It, was, it was hysterical <laughs> because you brought a, you brought him out to make the yeah. prepared statement and then you lose the first round. Yeah. So then you bring him back up and you kind of blame the loss on him. Yeah. And then you physically yeah. assault him. <laughs> and that guy is so unlikable looking. <laughs> <laughs> He's a perfect, like, like what? Are you, yeah. It's a perfect goon because you do it with Bobby, and everyone knows Bobby. Yeah. But also, if you didn't, you'd be like, "Oh, I like this guy. Why? Yeah. Why would? You, why is he? Why is he being subjected to this man's shenanigans?" But that guy Max is so unlikable. <laughs> and I was like yelling at Sean, like like yelling in Latin at Sean. <laughs> and Sean is like is not like. Oh, he like, doesn't. He, even he, he doesn't. I don't think he likes roast battling to begin with. He's well, like, so he also, good at he's it. Great, great at it. He's yeah. great. He doesn't like roast battling, but he also doesn't like these weird variables yeah, that I'm throwing yeah, yeah, out yeah. there. And so, like, even leading up to it, like we're friends, so he was like. He was like, All right, I'll do the battle, but I, I, I don't want it. I'm, I don't like it at any at this point. <laughs> and we're in some like weird like penthouse in Times Square, just like some rich guys uh, yes. in the living room. And I'm like screaming at him in Latin. And then like for round three, <laughs> I just what for, are you the devil? Yeah, for, I was yelling at him, I'm in the devil in Latin. <laughs> and then like I'm just like like sitting there like rocking. And then for yeah. round three, I just like look at this girl, uh, Aaron, who's like a fan of Fight Club. Yeah. I'm like, you want to get out of here? And then we just leave the room for round three. <laughs> Now, did anything happen in the room? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I should have brought the, the microphone because the point was we were gonna like be in the other room yelling stuff. Like basically, I, I like looked at each round, like, each like joke point as like a different like like weird thing that I can do. And then I just came back out with like no shirt on yeah. and grabbed some cotton. <laughs> I was like doing like bits like that. And then at the end of it, again, at the end of it, people were kind of, some of them were like, 
Like, I get this, but uh, Sean has to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he deserves yeah. to win. Also, I don't think Matt loved that I went too weird with it, too. Oh, really? Which is, yeah, which is because we're, we're roommates and, like, uh, yeah, like, yeah. Said, like we're, like, we're one of my best friends, so it's a little yeah. tough to, like... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It so was I, tension? Yeah. No, not tension, but he definitely was like, yeah, Sean should have won that, and I'm kind of like... The next night you he, were out... Did he do win? He, yeah, he Sean did win, yeah. Win, right? Yeah. And, and uh, we were at Big Nose Cade so yeah. the next night, and um, I don't know how... We were talking about something entirely different. Yeah. We were saying, like, he's out of control. And then uh, Sean walked into the conversation, and he goes, who, Mark, with his roast battles? <laughs> and we're like... No, we're not talking about that at all, but what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the juice? What's the <laughs> well, I think you were telling me yeah. about it, and I was like, I gotta see this. Yeah. And I was like, I put it on. I, I really couldn't find it. No, I, I, uh, I, any more. I, this is so funny. I, 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 I appreciate loved it. Because um, yeah. uh, also the way Maxwell, right? That's yeah, Max. Is, the way when you were putting Keep it at him, Maxwell, say when, Maxwell. When you were putting him in the uh, ankle. in the ankle lock, yeah. the way he was <laughs> lifting himself <laughs> up, selling it. <laughs> As if he wasn't going to tap, had me fucking pissing my pants. I, it was so fucking funny. He got mad in an open mic at a reserve club yeah, once, yeah. and he did one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Uh, I wasn't he, there, but I've heard about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got like a, I had something with his girlfriend yeah. at the time, and uh, uh, he did one of the fucking, because his girlfriend started going off. She started yelling. Yeah, people. And she like, was dating one guy, and then she can't. She started dating Max. Yes, uh, that was the problem. Okay. And then everyone was like taking uh, her ex's side. Right. Okay. All right. So she started going crazy, yeah. and they were like, "Sit down, whore," and shit. Like I don't know. And um, <laughs> yeah, that's what you only do if you could never have a career. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like yelling at some woman, "Sit yeah. down, whore." So like she, she was like, "I f- that fuck this. We're leaving. Let's get out of here, Max." And then he walks out, and there was a camera like ours right here on a tripod. He knocked the camera over and goes oops <laughs> like it was the douchiest but coolest thing I've ever seen done by a guy with that fucking face I, I like I heard it from multiple people and some people were like he meant to do it and some people were like he didn't mean to do it <laughs> I don't know why I saw it go down I don't know if, I, I can't really tell but he did go Oops! <laughs> like, like I said, oh, it was so good. Thing. Yeah, some people, I guess, bought the oops. Like, yeah, that, you yeah. Didn't it was partially villainous, but also like he was <laughs> yeah. like justified. Yeah. Like, doofus. So the Wawa Social Club is sort of like the, the good, like almost like the good version of like what the Jersey Open Mic thing. And the yeah, Reserve yeah. Club is for being a lunatic. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah it's yeah, for yeah. being crazy. It's like. Uh, is this guy Carl who's like does like a lot of like oh yeah like oh. you know wordplay jokes and then he would host it with Yusef yeah. who is like a completely different genre of comedian yeah and he would and Yusef would be trying to get just, real just with everybody that genre of person <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then like while while Carl's doing that and then like they they leave and then now it's Kate and Carl mm. and they also have a, a a dynamic that makes no sense either what well, no, makes describe z- describe the dynamic uh, 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 well it makes zero sense well, Carl is uh, this guy Carl is a 50 year old guy yeah he's uh, uh i would o- say portly yeah, <laughs> really really he's okay. uh, shaped like fucking oliver hardy yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh, you got kate lawler yeah. who we want on the show uh very bosomy uh, yeah. yeah it is a fun, fair yeah. statement uh you know 25 years old 25 you know, goes for it yeah, yeah. goes for her it. jokes are like about like like sucking dick and like yeah and dirt, and so are yeah. carl's though but so, so is carl's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he does it but he does it with a ukulele yeah, yeah. yeah. and carl's hosting style would be like uh uh, who brought the mayo? It's Mateo. Like that's the type of shit that he does. And then like you know like like they'll do a setup top where Kate will do normal jokes and Carl will jump in like off on the side. I've never done and Carl stuff. It's I've never done their version of that. Yeah, I've, I think we did it once. I don't think I ever did it where Kate was the host. But yeah, the, but the flyer for it is uh, almost like you know you, are you in the bad flyers group? Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah, it's like that. Their flyer every week makes it into the group because she looks missing in the flyer. <laughs> she looks missing, and Carl looks, missing looks like a distracted dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's not I've looking seen up, it. trying to find her do- his daughter? It's in there every week. Um, but yeah, like uh, that place too. There was a one time I went there. There was that comic Victor Ponte. Yeah. Oh. He was, he was he was in and, he was in the big the period of time where people were. Uh, it was not everyone was saying the word online. Yeah, it was like. Oh the, no, he did a different thing. He did, no, no, what he did was yeah, hor- absolutely. Was what he yeah. did was horrific. It was horrific. Yeah. What did he do? Uh, he he. Uh, there was this uh, during the George Floyd uh, thing, right? Yeah. He had a one of his black friends laid down, and he kneeled. 
Oh, oh I, I saw that. The black the guy's yeah. like knee. neck or whatever, or was it, it, it head? Yeah, I saw yeah. it. Yeah, and that's that's rough for anybody. That's a tough walk. That's tough. Yeah, yeah. I would. I normally I'm like, eh, I don't try to defend anyone like making a joke. Yeah, but that was rough. I could. I, who could? Who could do? Who would come up with that? Considering it was time time sensitive too to go with. Yeah, that. it was like yeah. two weeks after uh, the incident. So he was. So he was like banned from everything. Yeah. Except, except for a reserve from the it reserve. Was because pump. Yusef reached out to him and said, "You're always welcome to the reserve." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Yusef. Just like you know, completely. Just, <laughs> when no one at reserve was on board with that. They were like, "Okay." Yeah, like, he was getting heckled. He was getting heckled. I was never that. Ass. Yeah. Oh no, it was, that, it was a yeah. must see. He was like one comic was just like in the back. Oh, the guy Michael Donald who's also kind of weird. But yeah. yeah. That guy, yeah. I, I, that guy, I get the impression. I always see him a lot in Lower Manhattan. He was a he used to be. guy. Yeah, he creep. used to be. I, guess, I think he might have gotten He wanted to fight him. The guy, Michael Donald, yeah. was like, I love to say something. I was like, but aren't you like Michael a Trump Donald guy? is like a big No, dude. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, big no he's not. Yeah. Michael Donald. Yeah, he's a big liberal, I know. Yeah. The, 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 one of the greatest breakdowns ever at Reserve was, uh, there's this guy, like an older dude, like bald, I don't really fully remember his name. But oh. He was, he was doing like a bunch of, he, he was like doing like a bunch of like, Jokes that like everyone had heard like for weeks beforehand. Yeah. Right. And this is at a point where like yeah. like the, the the weirdos at like a bunch of weirdos been going to reserve and the normals were like sick of them. Yeah. Just like ton like like quietly like seething at them. You yeah. Know? Um. This is back when uh when jo- Jer- Jewish Jerry Seinfeld was a guy. Yeah, I, I heard. I never seen that. I, a guy I, I saw Jersey. clips on the internet. Yeah, there's a guy named Jewish Jerry Seinfeld that would like play the the, the Seinfeld music as he did Seinfeld style jokes. Yeah, that's a fire ass bit. Which he has stopped doing. He's he's a normal now. Oh, he switched okay. out over. But yeah. like uh, this guy was like doing jokes and like slowly one by one, everyone was just like leaving the room as he was going. Yeah. And then like like what was like, only a few of us left? And he goes. I don't feel like doing this anymore. And he gets off stage and he throws his fucking oh. note notepad down on the yeah. on the, on yeah, the bar yeah, yeah. and it rattles the chips. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I love. <laughs> and Carl yeah. is like he's giving out like uh, prizes. <laughs> and the prizes are just like things the people that work at Reserve are giving away. Uh. And he's like. Okay, this was this guy. Come get your prize, and he holds up like a like a canteen with like Mickey Mouse on it. He goes, "I don't feel like it right now, Carl." <laughs> I'm being very fucking funny, I'm Carl. Like Carl, and he's like storms out. He's like, I feel like hitting somebody. We've never seen him again. Oh, oh his <laughs> name was Ken Fowler. Yeah, Ken yeah. Fowler. Yeah, he had this That's whole the like yeah. whole breakdown like there. Oh, uh, if we Carl's trying to give him like a, a at, Disney mug <laughs> at the freak at the freak brand split draft. Yeah. Um, Ken Fowler is a top ten pick. For me. I would. What 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 was his? He was really? always no why no why because that no why that story is so uh, yeah. chilling. I would say chilling because Ken Fowler, I I was always kind of normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then comedy broke him. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> four minutes ago. Right. Four minutes. Because he looks like also he looks like Jeff Dunham is like angry puppet the old yeah. man puppet. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I could I used to see him at um I used to do the Rhino mics. Yeah. In upstate, and uh, he was like a normal guy, sit yeah. there, pretty just you know not the funniest, but reserved. And to have a breakdown at a place <laughs> like the Reserve Club, it's funny. Yeah, no, but he was like, no, he. I, I when I heard that story, I'm like, oh my god, that guy's going through something. Probably, he, yeah. Or he just figured out what a waste of time a lot of this is. I mean, maybe that's. He was in like he would go to Gina DiMaggio's backyard. Okay. Yeah, yeah like in the, now. The, have you ever had a meltdown on stage? Uh, I've had embarrassing things. Like I, I've gotten too high on stage and like. I got too high one time on stage. I took all these edibles that I got from after like a fight club. Right. I drove to a mic and then I was just like freaking out there. And then while I was on stage, I started uh, apologizing to someone over like another time I got too high and ruined a party. <laughs> I got too high at AJ Sherman's party. AJ Sherman's like a normal guy. Yeah, yeah, I, love and yeah, I, yeah I was yeah, at yeah. a party like his normal friends. And I got too high and fell over and hit my head on the dryer. Oh <laughs> really? God, yeah, really. It, and I broke my glasses. It was really embarrassing. Oh, and shit. then I got too high at this at this mic and I'm on stage. I'm like doing pretty well, but in the middle of it, I'm like, AJ, I got you out of your party. I feel like it's never been the same between us since. <laughs> and he's like, man, it's okay. I forgive you, man. And I'm like, what am I doing? This is not. <laughs> You're not supposed to be doing this again. I had a, I had a rough one uh, over the summer. I was going through something, and uh, I, I, I had to rush out um, from work. I had to rush out to Manhattan, yeah. the west side, uh, to make a 7 o'clock show, and mm-hmm. I had to sit in traffic and it was fucking hot, all this shit. So I, 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 I'm texting the guy who booked the show, and uh, he's like, he's like, all right, you know, once you once you find parking, we'll start the show. I, we're yeah. going first. I was like, great, good, awesome. I had to, I had to take the bullet while I'm yeah. in a rush. Finally, find parking. 
run, run to the restaurant. It's back of a vegan, it's like a vegan restaurant. West is high. It's like, oh no, this is gonna be fucking terrible. Yeah. Go in there. Already, it's like a hell show, like they're ambush show, just fucking no one's expecting comedy. Host goes up, he's terrible. It does maybe five minutes. But he wasn't terrible, but he didn't do his time. Okay, yeah, he yeah. wasn't terrible, whatever. Yeah, sorry. yeah. Uh, nice guy, whatever. Uh, but that does, does five minutes. Him and I go up, and okay, like it's just gonna be a workman set. Yeah. Right? You know, start working them a little bit, crowd work and shit like that. Then start, I'm like, all right, they're not on board so that, that I'm gonna do I did material I'm just gonna just gonna bomb with the material yeah and I'm hitting the beats like you know you know when you bomb yeah and you hit, but you still hit the beats yes, that, yes. That's I've how seen you, people do it but I'm <laughs> incapable of <doing> that. <laughs> but it's fine like yeah, yeah like just get through the set this woman turns around and is like like you're not funny and once she said that I was like you like oh real like I'm not funny so I started having a back and forth with her. Yeah. I was like whatever okay I'm not funny I don't give a shit. G- get back into a joke, get the light. Before I leave, she says something else. Well, I, what triggered it was uh, I you said uh, or I, maybe I said one of us was like oh uh, lady yeah you're not exactly my demographic. Mm. It's not really for you. And she was like, well, who is it for? It doesn't sound like it's for any... It right. was a really, like... Yeah, yeah. She, yeah like, it was a fucking... Uh, all right, go on. Go on your part. Because uh, I don't... I, 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 have, I have the word on my mind. No, on. no, no. Just go. Yeah, Say so, it. So, no, no, yeah, yeah. so I, I turn around to her, and now I'm like this. Now I'm like... Now I'm like... You know, like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm not funny. I'm getting another funny. You know. I'm like, all right, whatever. You, you fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut it. You want to go on? I'm still going. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You finish the story. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Every minute he gets like a little bit closer. He, he does it all the time. He does it all the time. Well, go on, go on. So I go, you fucking cunt. And now the woman's like fucking cursing me out. And now like, ah, oh, whatever. You know, like the, yeah. the, the guy, the booker is like, like, dude, give me the light like this now. And I'm like, no, nah, fuck that. Fucking, I don't give a fuck. Kick them out. Get them fuck out. They suck. You know, I'm telling them, I'm like trying to get the audience to like go with me too. Like, yeah. like they're going to ruin your night. They're going to ruin your fucking night. <laughs> this fucking cunt. And she's like, this is not how you're supposed to talk to people. And shit. <laughs> so it turns out the, the woman, you know, very offended. Yeah. Booker going up to apologize. Turns out the, the woman um, uh, uh, complained to the manager mm-hmm. and was like, was like, uh, you know, like, like I, I want a free, you know, I want everything for free. Take care of the bill. Take care of the bill. She got that done. So it turns out I was kind of right. She wasn't coming. <laughs> <laughs> but she wanted to sue us. And she wanted to sue us too. Turns out. Yeah, so, uh, we Mateo is going out of his mind. He's yeah, we gotta wild. cut it. He wants gotta, to wait, cut it. Real quick. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I did a Christmas special, Merry oh, Christmas, Big Dog, oh, with yeah. X's instead of vowels. It's on Snack Attack Comedy on YouTube. Also, Comedy Fight Club. You can check it out. And that it. was very funny. Which I, I, I forgot that. to mention. I forgot to mention that. Good. Yeah. I'm going to cut it. Go ahead. Cut it before <laughs> I fucking... Oh,